Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This is a yearly 2023 tarot forecast for you all. So we're going to see the energies that come through for the year. Take what resonates and leave the rest, remember this is general. First of all, um, on a collective level, we may find that January is a bit slow and quiet, but hopefully things will pick up towards the end of the month as we have three planets which will come out of retrograde and go direct in January. So Mars goes direct on January the 12th, Mercury goes direct on the 18th of January, and Uranus will station direct on the 22nd of January. And Uranus is the planet that surprises, so as it goes direct we may really feel it on a personal and collective level. Also, it's worth noting that Pluto is moving into Aquarius on March the 23rd to June the 11th. And when Pluto changes signs, it signals a huge generational shift. I mean, Pluto's energy is about deep transformation, but I feel there will be heightened awareness in the collective. Things that have been hidden will come to light in 2023 whether that's on a personal level or a larger scale. So for example, we may see government documents that are exposed, that have been hidden for many years, and this could be quite shocking for some people. So this year is going to be quite a big year, I feel, um, especially for exposure and truth. For you, Aquarius, um, get ready for a 180 degree spin in your life this year. From March 2023, transformation experiences may occur, such as new friendships, invitations, or job offers may come in. I feel this year you're ready to reap hard-earned rewards, and your home and family may be big focal points in the second half of the year. Okay, so let's start with a spirit animal message. Aquarius, some in Rosalind Venus. Okay, so you've got the flux. The fox is obviously clever and the message is to think on your feet. So you might have a decision that you need to make in the moment or you might need to think something through. You've got the bobcat. I feel this is about using your intuition. So maybe in terms of making this decision, um, but also just trusting your intuition in general. Obviously we can't know everything that's gonna happen but deep down, I feel you know, um, so trust that. I'm really feeling there's a situation in particular though, it might come out in the reading, um, where you sort of need to use your intuition, trust how you feel, more, more than sort of what you see. And then you've got porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. So it could be that you'll want a fresh start. As I said before, you know, I'm really feeling new offers coming your way this year, whether that's a job, friendship, love, um, that's really coming through. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some tarot as well. I'm gonna do this in quarters, um, so it's sort of like a general overview really. Um, but we're starting with January, February, March. Okay, they're all flipping over here. Okay, so first of all, yeah, the two of ones links with that decision that came through. Maybe some of you have your sights set on something here. Maybe it's moving home. Maybe it's a new job. I'm seeing a new job coming in for some of you right at the beginning of the year. Stability, 
um, the Empress feeling better about yourself, nurturing yourself, maybe focusing more on your home as well. Um, feeling on top of the world, because this person's on the top of the roof. But cer yeah, certainly your home um, is coming out actually for the first quarter. So maybe you're looking at doing home improvements, investing, uh, maybe yeah, moving home, investing in the property here. Okay, let's see second quarter. I'm seeing a glow up as well for some of you, the Empress. Turning heads, feeling really good about yourself. are just highlighting the moon in this card um, so it could be that you work with the moon cycles in terms of manifesting and releasing with the moon and death I'm really seeing that I'm seeing a transformation here for a lot of you releasing a lot of fears and negativity um, and going through like an ego death we've got a butterfly there for transformation Wow, okay, and this is, I believe, a fox, yes, which we had before, so that could be the time where some of you need to think on your feet. A decision I'm really feeling here, um, potentially, and this could relate to your stability. There's a ten of pentacles. I do feel it's a job offer, some sort of opportunity that could lead to reaping the rewards as I mentioned before. Wow, it's beautiful. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra have come out. You might have those in your chart. Let's just get some more on this Ten of Pentacles. Could it even be um, moving home, as I said before. Yeah, I'm seeing this as a, an offer coming your way. Someone's very sincere with this offer. Um, and it's interesting with the moon, because this is all, also about intuition. Maybe needing to trust your intuition here in terms of this decision. For some of you, this is a love interest as well. They've got their hand on their heart. They're very sincere and loving. This could be long term for some of you. We've got journey. So yeah, I'm feeling for some of you it's a big decision. Maybe moving home. Maybe moving away for a job. Um, but wow, okay, this is the Ten of Pentacles. Repeat. <laughs> So that's clearly coming out there. Now, for some of you, this is if it's a love interest. You know, you've both been on a long spiritual journey. You've been separated. So lots of different things coming out here. But again, see how he's sat on the top, feeling on top of the world, like you've accomplished something. I'm really feeling here as well. Okay, there could be someone here who tries to get in the way, tries to block you from your abundance, and that could also be why we keep getting the message for you to trust your intuition. Whether it's someone in the workplace or someone around you who's jealous. Keep focusing on you, I would say. Don't focus on that energy. I feel a lot of you will. You'll just you know, keep looking forward. Okay, so let's see, July, August, September. Okay, 
Wow. Yeah, they went flying then. Yeah, I mean, first of all, the Nine of Pentacles is about reaping the rewards. So that this could be really where this happens for a lot of you. You've also got an Ace showing a new beginning, which we had before with the porcupine. Um, now it's pentacles, so a new beginning here in work, new job, or maybe some of you are going to start out on your own, your own business. Now with the devil, again I'm feeling that energy, it's either the energy we had before, either that a person or this is you, could be you, your negativity and fears that hold you back, which does link with the moon. Okay, um, with the page of swords you might need to sort of research a little bit before making a decision here before starting out your own venture or taking on a job. But again, I'm feeling this sincerity. Notice the hand on the heart that we had before. If this is an offer, I feel it's positive. I feel there's someone who's lurking. I'm really feeling that energy in this reading. Um, now, it's either that they want you to work for them or this is someone who's got their eye on you in love. Let's just clarify here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini or, or Capricorn. Okay, we've got Quarrel. Wow, and anger. Okay, so yeah, it could be a person here, as I said, who tries to interfere in terms of your progress. Um, and there's some sort of dispute that you both have, brings up some anger in some of you. And that could be where you need to think on your feet with a fox. I feel some of you might walk away from that energy. Yeah, I'm feeling some anxiety there around that, that energy. But you will trust your intuition, I feel, and know what to do. Okay, so the end of the year, October, November, December. Seems ages away, but as we know, time flies. heavy energy here, um, especially as I pick up this card and notice the other energy again. There's someone there who either you're friends with this person, you work with them, could be a relationship. It's definitely a karmic situation I feel. Um, and some of you don't quite see, see how one eye is covered there, you don't quite see what this person's doing. Um, they're lurking, maybe there's some jealousy around that person. For some of you might confide in a friend about this, you might go out for a cup of tea. Um, I'm also feeling you might take some time to really work on yourself. Because I'm feeling a lot of you turn your back. See how, it, how she's turned her back on that energy? But again, that could be your shadow side as well. So the negativity and fears that came through before. Take what resonates here. With the Magician though, I'm seeing a lot of you um, manifesting and starting again 
with that new beginning that keeps coming through. Um, yeah, again, I'm feeling a new home here. Some of you start again, you move out. Maybe you move on from a relationship there. And I'm feeling you're going to feel better as a result of this trans transition. Wow, yeah, as I said that, we've got home that's come out. Um, and a relationship, so yeah, maybe moving on from a relationship and moving out, making a decision to do that. Because, yeah, my guys are saying here you're in the home alone. Yeah, and here we've got someone running, you know, running away, walking away. There's some sort of communication that happens in the second half of the year, I feel, um, where you feel it's time to move on. And we got another two. It could be a bit of a risk, you could be at a crossroads in terms of making this decision, but I feel you're going to know what to do, Aquarius. Okay, let's pull an oracle card as well. Okay, it's a bit too many there, so I'm going to start again. They're a little bit slippery, these cards. Okay, I'll take those two. So we've got cycles, first of all. Everything has its right time. All of the cycles of your body, tune in to the moon's magic. Wow, and we had the moon come out, which I highlighted before, as you know. So that could really help a lot of you. Um, but I'm also getting here karmic cycles, which is what I've been feeling in this reading. Breaking free from karmic patterns, behaviours or situations, people. We've got butterflies there for transformation, which happens as a result if you can do that. We've got gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others, honour your gentleness, speak words of love. And that links with the Empress. So it could be that it's time for you to start looking out for your own needs what serves you, what no longer serves you, I feel. Now another sign had these same two cards. Um, I can't quite remember which sign it was, sorry, because with readings, um, when you're channeling especially, you sort of forget, you know, who it was sometimes. Um, but it was, might have been Taurus. Anyway, if you have that sign in your chart, you might see that reading, hopefully because it may, it may resonate. Okay, let's pull some charms as well. Yeah, we got the tower. So I do feel there's going to be tower moments this year for some of you. Things crumble that no longer serve you. You know, don't see it in a negative light. Um, this, I feel, has to happen for some of you. We've got an aeroplane, so I'm feeling travel for some of you. You might move away, move abroad, go away, travel. Wow, and you've got the galloping horse as well, which really does show travel. <laughs> um, moving on, moving forward, starting that new beginning, travelling, as I said, um, is really coming through. Maybe. Paris is somewhere some of you are thinking about going to. So maybe you're making plans this year to go away somewhere as well. Um, I'm feeling, yeah, for some of you it's like a tropical island, beach, energy coming through. Wow, lucky you, Aquarius. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I really hope you've enjoyed this 
yearly reading. Please do hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you like what I do. Thank you so much for being here, sending peace, love and light to you all.